distraction of the back of the skull or occipital distraction. At birth, the skull is composed of separate skull bones that are connected with skull sutures. The sutures are the growing sites of the skull. When two coronal sutures have closed prematurely, the skull growth in the forward direction becomes restricted. As a result, the skull will have excessive growth towards the sides. This results in a short and broad skull shape, with the risk of not having enough volume for the brain. This is preferably done at the back of the head, because more volume gain can be achieved. In addition, the hindbrain is allowed more space. During the procedure, a skin incision is made on top of the head, running from ear to ear. This way, the skull can be exposed. The surgeon makes a few burring holes to detach the bone from the meninges underneath. A cut in the bone is made in the bone of the skull, leaving a small piece of bone intact at the top. On both sides, a metal spring is inserted in the bone cut to allow a slow increase of the skull volume. During several weeks following the procedure, the springs push the bone upwards and backwards and thus enlarge the skull and create a better shape. Twelve weeks after the insertion of the springs, the springs are removed in a small surgical procedure. This technique allows restoration of the skull shape and volume while reducing blood loss.